guys, I have another fun movie night coming up for you with dinner, drink, snacks, and crafts all included for Disney's Tangle. So stay tuned, I will show you all the how-to recipes coming up in this video right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bethany here again with Mommy's Movie Magic. Welcome back to my channel once again. This week for our movie night, we're doing Disney's Tangled. If you are new here, I am Bethany and I love doing movie theme nights that have dinner, drinks, snacks, and crafts that are all themed with the movie that you're watching for that night. So if that's something that interests you, make sure that you head down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss all the new movie nights that I come out with every single week. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and give this video a like if you're enjoying the content and enjoying all of the recipes and suggestions that I'm giving you to recreate it in your own homes. So let's get it into our next movie night, which this one is Disney's Rapunzel. For our movie night menu this week, I have planned out angel hair pasta, braided breadsticks, for dessert, we did painted Rice Krispie Treats paint brushes. And for our drink, we are doing Rapunzel's Sun Drink. So let's not make you wait any further. Let's get into all of the recipes right now. You can obviously go to the grocery store and make your own spaghetti sauce, or you can use this recipe, which I chopped up some onions, mushrooms, some shredded zucchini, and also some shredded carrots and crushed up some garlic and minced that and added it to a separate bowl. And then I put some olive oil and added in my mushrooms, onions, and garlic first into the pot and sauteed that for a few minutes until it was nice and soft. I added in the rest of my vegetables and added in a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and also a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, which I did not have, so I added in two of the smaller 14 and a half ounce cans of tomatoes. And then added in a can of tomato paste. And then add in your balsamic vinegar, which is two tablespoons. And add in your parsley, three tablespoons, and your oregano, thyme, and fennel, and salt and pepper, and some brown sugar and a bay leaf on top, and then you're gonna let it simmer for at least 45 minutes, but the longer it simmers, the better. And then prep your pasta water, because you're gonna put your angel hair pasta and cook it according to the box directions. Sprinkle some cheese on top when you're finished and your pasta is ready to eat. To make braided breadsticks, pick up a crescent roll in the refrigerated section of your grocery store. And these were the ones that I used, and I opened it up and rolled it out onto my cookie sheet. And then I pressed all the seams together until it was one big piece of crescent roll. From here, then I wanted to slice it in three pieces in half. So if you kind of take a look what I did, is they, I split them in half and then did each half into three pieces again. The top one was a little difficult, so as you see, I kind of messed that up. And then you want to take three pieces at a time and you're going to start braiding them. So squish together one end of it and then just keep crossing them over like a, you would braid your hair. And you're just going to braid the breadstick the same way. Continue to do that until all of them are breaded. And then you want to put it in the oven for 375 for about 10 to 14 minutes until brown. For your Rice Krispie Treats, add in your six tablespoons of butter into your pan and let it melt until fully melted. When you, that is finished, you're gonna add in, in a whole entire bag of mini marshmallows. And you want to then start mixing it consistently until all of your marshmallows and your butter is melted in the pan and your marshmallows are covering your whole entire marshmallow. For a little added flavor, add in a half a teaspoon of vanilla and then you're gonna add in your six cups of Rice Krispies and mix until completely covered in your marshmallow mixture. Next, you're gonna spray your nine by 13 pan with some nonstick spray. And I also sprayed the back of my spatula so that it wouldn't stick to the Rice Krispies as well. And you wanna pour it out into your pan and spread it out as flat as you possibly can into the pan. 
Then take your Rice Krispie treats and pour them into your 9 by 13 pan and go ahead and spread them out as flat as you can possibly make them. From there, use a ruler or whatever measuring device that you have and you're going to cut them about 3 inches wide, so at 3, 6, and 9, to create 8 different long rectangle pieces. And then take them out and place them on the board and cut them in half one more time. From here, you're going to take your large popsicle sticks and you're going to place it into the bottom of your Rice Krispie Treat about halfway to three quarters of the way all the way up just so that they don't fall out and fall off while you're trying to put chocolate on them. From here, continue to do that to the rest of them until they all have their popsicle sticks in the bottom, making your paintbrush look. Next, go ahead and grab some melts that are a certain color. We used pink or purple would be great for this as well. And get them into your bowl and microwave them for about one minute. If they're not melted, stick them back in for 15 seconds at a time, making sure to stir in between and making sure it's all nice and melted. So let's take your paintbrush Rice Krispie Treat and go ahead and just swirl it around inside your chocolate. You want to take a spoon and if that helps you spread it down so that at least the bottom third of it to half is covered in chocolate. If it's not all covered, it's okay. Paintbrushes are messy looking as it is. For Rapunzel's drink, go ahead and grab a glass and you're going to pour it about halfway up with lemonade. And next you're going to take pineapple juice and fill it up about halfway again with your juice. And lastly, take some frozen orange juice concentrate from the freezer section in the store, about a tablespoon of it and drop it into your drink and give it a good mix. It's a nice bright airy drink that's perfect for Rapunzel's sun. Our movie night craft were Pascal party blowers. To get started, you'll need these foam craft sheets a pair of scissors, a permanent black marker, this principle that you can find from my website, this paper plate, and a hot glue gun, and last but not least, party blowers, which I found these in the dollar store at Dollar Tree. To get started, you're going to go already cut out this Pascal head, which is on the template that's available on the description bar down below, and I traced it onto the green foam paper and had the girls cut them out. Next, I used a hot glue and put it right where Pascal's mouth would be, and I placed the party blower there. And I put some more glue on top of the party blower as well as around the edges and glued the other half of the Pascal piece on top of it. Once that's glued together, you want to take your black marker and draw on his mouth, and then take your other foam pieces that you've cut out in the eyes, the white and a smaller circle on the yellow and the black, and you're going to use the template from earlier also to create the eyeball and the eyelid until he's all finished. Isn't he cute? Alright everybody, I think that's it from me here at Mommy's Movie Magic. Before I go, make sure you head down and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my new movie nights that come out. Also, go down and check out any other movie night that you may want to see because I have a bunch more down there that you may want to check out as well. And I will see you guys next time on another one of my movie nights here on Mommy's Movie Magic. 